Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore how to connect to an EC2 instance using Session Manager. Session Manager is a fully managed AWS service that provides a secure and audible way to connect to and manage your EC2 instances or on-prem servers. Coming to the features of Session Manager, it has the ability to connect to the EC2 instances without using SSH or RDP. It eliminates the need for open SSH RDP ports, improving security. Provides access via a browser or CLI, making it user-friendly. Records all session activity for security and auditing purposes. And it also allows you to control access using AWS IAM roles and policies. To connect to an EC2 instance using Session Manager, you will need an active AWS account. Permissions to manage EC2 instances, including launching and terminating them. Access to AWS Systems Manager. The ability to create IAM roles. And for this hands-on demonstration, we will be using North Virginia region. So now that you understand what Session Manager is, let's see how to set it up step-by-step. Step. To connect to an EC2 instance using Session Manager, The instance must have an SSM agent. So it has to have an SSM agent installed. And an IAM role with SSM policy attached. We will launch an Amazon Linux instance as it comes with SSM agent pre-installed. So first of all, we will launch an EC2 instance using an Amazon Linux AMI. We will create an IAM role with required permissions. Attach this role to the EC2 instance. And then we'll connect to the EC2 instance using the session manager. Let's switch to the console and see how this works in practice. So presently I'm in North Virginia region. So let's go to EC2 service and launch an EC2 instance using an Amazon Linux AMI as discussed. So go to instances, launch an instance, add a tag as session manager instance. Choose Amazon Linux 2 AMI. It's under free tier. T2 micro, again free tier eligible, so that this particular hands-on will not cost you. Um, as discussed, we are not choosing any key pairs, so proceed without a key pair. And I'm also disabling SSH traffic, and I can simply launch the instance. View all instances. Now let's create an IAM role. I'm in the IAM dashboard, go to roles, create a role. I'm creating a role for the EC2 instance, so select EC2, go next. So search for Amazon SSM managed instance code. So select the second one, go next. Um, you can just um, give a name as SSM role and you can create. So a role is created with the um, necessary permissions. You can now go to the instance and you can attach this particular role to that instance. So go back to the instance console, select the instance, go to actions, security, modify IAM role. So select the role which we have created and update it. So 
So now if you just select this and click on connect and go to session manager, here you can see the connect is disabled. So after completing the necessary setup, it usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes for everything to be ready to connect to an EC2 instance using the session manager. So let's pause here and we will resume the video once it is ready. So for now, I'll just go and cancel it. So I have waited enough. Let's see if we are able to connect to this um, instance using session manager. So select the instance, click on connect. In the session manager, if you can see this particular connect option now is enabled. So we can simply click on connect. We can update the EC2 instance and install any packages like HTTPD, so sudo yum update. sudo yum install HTTP, it's like a web server. HTTP is a web server for Amazon Linux. sudo systemctl. I'm starting with service. And also enabling that service. In order to access this web server from the browser, you need to open HTTP port in the security groups. So let's go back to the instance. Go to security. Um, select the security group. Edit inbound rules. There are any rules as of now. So let me just add HTTP. Source as anywhere and save it. Now let's go back to the instances. The instance is already selected. Go to details, copy the public IP address, and you can access in the browser. You should see the default Apache welcome page. We have seen how to connect to an EC2 instance using the session manager, but did you know there is an easier way to streamline this process for all the EC2 instances in a region? It's called the default host management configuration. This configuration option automatically applies the necessary session manager settings to all the EC2 instances in a region. This means you don't have to manually configure each instance. Session manager will just work as soon as the instances are launched. This is super helpful if you manage multiple instances as it saves time, ensures consistency, and reduces setup effort. So in order to enable this option, so let's go back to the console. I'm in the AWS management console, go to systems manager. However, let's enable this particular option in Ohio region. So go to systems manager. And you can see the capabilities of the systems manager here into different categories. And we need to go to the fleet manager. Click on get started. And under the account management drop down, click on configure default host management configuration. As you can see, it's already enabled. So I enabled it earlier because it usually takes 25 to 30 minutes for everything to be ready to connect to an EC2 instance using the session manager. So I have enabled it before so that it would be ready by now. So you just have to enable it, select the role, and then click on configure. If you are doing along with this video, you need to wait for another 30 minutes to go to the next step. So for now, as I have already enabled, let's go to the EC2 instance by going to the EC2 dashboard. Click on the instances and launch an instance. So I would name it as Ohio SSM instance. The same options, I'll choose Amazon Linux to AMI, T2 Micro's instance type, which under free tier. 
um, I'll proceed without a key pair, not enabling the SSH traffic and launching instance. View all instances. So we can connect to the CC2 instance using the session manager without um, attaching any role. Okay, so if you observe, if I select this particular instance, this instance is not having an IAM role. So if I go to actions or security and modify IAM role, see there is no role attached to this. Okay, even though we don't have any IAM role, we should be able to connect to this EC2 instance using session manager. It is just that, make sure you launch an EC2 instance of Amazon Linux to AMI. Okay, so let me just uh, cancel it. Select the instance, click on connect, go to session manager. You see, this particular option is enabled by default without any IAM role attached. So click on connect and we can run um, the commands which you want, like updating or installing any packages, etc. So to do yum update. Okay. So by enabling default host management configuration, you can simplify connecting to EC2 instances across the region. It's a one-time setup that makes managing multiple instances much easier. So let's clean up the resources we have created so far. Terminate the instance which is created in Ohio region. Delete the IEM role. So select the IEM role. Give a name. And also terminate the instance which is created in North Virginia region. So go to EC2. Go to North Virginia region. And terminate that instance. So when you terminate the instance, the instance state will turn from running to shutting down and then it will be in terminated state. So a record of an instance in terminated state will be there in the console for a couple of hours and uh, it will disappear automatically. You need not worry about the cost if an instance is in terminated state. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer. Take care and happy learning.